Hi everyone, welcome to the stethoscope. Today in this video, we'll be discussing about the second part of section one of the IMAT exam, that is general knowledge. In IMAT, you have 10 general knowledge questions, which worth 15 marks. So it is true that it is nearly impossible to predict just what will be on the test in any given year, but that doesn't mean that it is impossible to be better prepared for these sort of questions. Whereas some topics are always somewhat new, others consistently show up test after test. To optimize our study for general knowledge, it's important that we successfully diagnose which kind of questions are usually present and then we need to observe that aspect that comprise the questions and available alternatives. To improve our odds of answering correctly, even when our knowledge of topic is severely limited. So breaking down all of the previous year's questions, we get an outline of the general knowledge questions expected. It is well distributed among biological science, economics, maths, philosophy, physics, chemistry, with an extra emphasis on history and literature. But don't focus your efforts exclusively on it just yet because history of all categories is present and it is actually very vast. So it might be wiser to invest efforts in getting a little bit of each specific field marking especially notable personalities and their respective contributions. Knowledge of literature is not restricted to books, names and authors. It extends to history of literature, trends, movements and styles. With that in mind, we can start trying to make predictions and give pointers as to which subject are worth more consideration when studying. By narrowing down the most recurring topics, it becomes possible to focus on those that are more relevant. Going forward, we can expect questions to remain somewhat the same and follow the example set in previous year's exam. In my upcoming videos for general knowledge, I'll be considering the topics which include literature, general scientific economical culture, Nobel Prize, history, politics, Italian politics, European politics, European landmarks, metropolitan states, organization of European Union, and many more. Along with it, I'll be discussing general knowledge part from the Italian medical exam from IMAT and other sources too in upcoming videos. So don't forget to subscribe. Time for some general tips. I won't say that you should actually study for the general knowledge part because you don't need in-depth study. Instead, you have to focus on specific areas. I recommend you to spend most of the time of your day studying other sections of the IMAT because general knowledge does not require active study. You can acquire most, if not all, your knowledge in this area by just watching some YouTube videos to get your head off the main subject. Or you can listen to a podcast while driving or doing chores, or you may read books when you are free. This will definitely help you to prepare general knowledge part passively, but please don't forget to apply active recall technique. Well, that's actually all what I have to say for the general knowledge part and we'll look at the details about specific topics in upcoming videos. Till then, take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching.